These five recently released devices are some of the fastest charging smartphones on the planet. Up first, we have the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro, which has the biggest 5,000 mAh dual cell battery of the bunch here with up to 90 watt charging. We have to use two blocks over here. They included a 45 watt block in the box as well as a 45 watt Samsung block in order to charge both USB type C ports. Lenovo does indeed offer a block that can do both. We also have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra with a 4,500 mAh battery and the fastest charging block I have ever seen, which comes included in the box, 120 watts. The Realme X7 Pro with a 65 watt block bundled in the box with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. The Red Magic 5S only comes with a 18 watt charger in the box, but you can splurge for a 55 watt charger from Nubia with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And last but not least, the Redmi K30 Ultra with 33 watt charging, the lowest of the bunch here with the same 4,500 milliamp hour battery of the three previous phones. This is Technic, and without further ado, Let's go. At the top right corner, we have the time interval, which is in relation to the battery percentage above each device. So whenever the time interval changes, the battery percentage will change as well. It is not indeed real time. After just six minutes, 25% on the Lenovo, 28% on the Xiaomi 19, on the Red Magic and the Realme, and 6% on the K30 Ultra, dropping below the other devices, even with the same size battery, but much lower charging wattage. After 10 minutes, 43% on the Lenovo, 1% higher than that, the Xiaomi, 32% on the Realme, 33% on the Red Magic, and 15% on the K30 Ultra. So the Red Magic is now 1% ahead of the X7 Pro over here. Reaching that 15 minute interval, we have 61% on the Lenovo, now 2% ahead, the Xiaomi with 63, 47 on the Realme, 49, 2% ahead on the Red Magic 5S, and 26% on the K30 Ultra. Hitting that 20 minute mark interval, we have 36% now on the K30 Ultra, 59 on the Red Magic Max, Matching the Realme 78, leading the pack is the Mi 10 Ultra and 75%. Just behind the Mi 10 Ultra is indeed the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro. We're going to pass this and go to the 30 minute mark. I have indeed enabled airplane mode here as well as automatic brightness on all devices. 96% on the Legion Phone Pro after 30 minutes. 99 almost clocking out the Mi 10 Ultra after 30 minutes. 81 on the Realme, 82 on the Red Magic, 54 on the K30 Ultra. And after just 31 minutes, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra clocks out over there with 100% of juice, booting up its 4,500 milliamp hour battery, sitting at around 47.2 degrees in Celsius, which is quite relatively impressive for a fast charging 120 watt smartphone. After just 35 minutes over here, a couple minutes longer than the Xiaomi is indeed the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro at 100%, sitting at a bit hotter degrees in Celsius over here, 49.7 degrees in Celsius, finishing off at 35 minutes. And after the 35 minute mark, we have 91% on the Realme, 92 on the Red Magic and 64 on the K30 Ultra. Now after 40 minutes, 96 on the Realme, 97 still leading the pack here, the Red Magic 5S and 72 on the K30 Ultra. Which one is going to go out first between the Red Magic and the Realme X7 Pro? It is indeed the Red Magic 5S with a lower wattage charger but the same milliamp hour battery over here and it's using a single core battery and not a dual cell. It should be the coolest over here since we were using the fan while charging at 42.2 degrees in Celsius. It definitely is. 43 minutes over there, not too bad for the Red Magic 5S and after just 45 minutes, we just two minutes slower than the Red Magic. We hit 100% on the Realme X7 Pro, sitting at about 39 degrees in Celsius here. Not too bad considering about 40 degrees when you take the dual cell into account at the top of the phone over there. Still the coolest phone out of the bunch over here, but the lowest milliamp hours per minute at 100 milliamp hours per minute. The best was indeed the Xiaomi as well as the Lenovo at 145 milliamp hours per minute. And right in between all of them is the Red Magic 5S with 105 milliamp hours per minute. I'll leave the calculation for this down in the description to so make sure you check that out after the video. The Redmi K30 Ultra finally clocks out 100% after an hour and six minutes. Still pretty fast charging and definitely the coolest over here since it's not using a dual cell and it's not really speeding past the other devices. 35 degrees in Celsius here, but the worst 68 milliamp hours per minute for the Redmi K30 Ultra. Fifth place over here, we have the Redmi K30 Ultra with an hour and six minutes. It is advertised to do it in 58 minutes, so a little bit shy of that. Nevertheless, still pretty great charging for 33 watts. Fourth place is indeed the Realme X7 Pro, which is advertised to do it in 35 minutes. Then we got 45 minutes over here with that wonderful 65 watt charging block that comes in the box. Third place, not far from the Realme, is 43 minutes, the Red Magic 5S with a 55 watt charging brick. 40 minutes is the advertised time, so pretty close to that. Second place here is indeed the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro with 35 minutes with its wonderful 90 watt dual charging over here. It is advertised to do it at 30 minutes, so not too far 
off of that. And first place is indeed the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra with that enormous 120 watt block that comes bundled in the box with 31 minutes though advertised at 23 minutes. Now if all devices had the exact same 4500 milliamp hour battery, the four phones on the right hand side do indeed have a 4500 milliamp hour battery. So dropping the Lenovo down to that, it would actually be on par with the Xiaomi using a lower wattage block of 90 watts at 31 minutes. So really great stuff over there for Lenovo. When compared to advertised test results, the Lenovo was five minutes slower, the Xiaomi was eight minutes slower, the Realme was the worst 10 minutes slower than its advertised time. The Red Magic 5S was the best comparing it to its advertised time at three minutes slower and eight minutes slower on the Redmi K30 Ultra. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.